So we have been getting lots of questions regarding whether the Australian borders are going to open in 2022. And when we usually follow up these questions and ask these people where they're getting their information from, they can't provide us any reliable source at all. So we decided to dig deeper and research this question further for you guys. So in this video, we are going to discuss whether the Australian borders are going to be open in 2021, 2022 or after that. So for those people who want to know whether Australian borders are going to open today, tomorrow, next year or next decade, the thing is there is no official update on that yet. I know how frustrating it has been for international student community and other people working in the industry that Australian government has not been able to provide any clear timeline, deadline or any sort of like suggestions on when the borders might open for international students. But the reality is there is no official update on when the borders are opening. Now for those people who want to know a bit more context behind it, what other things are happening in Australia, I suggest you to watch the rest of the video. But for those people who wanted to know clear cut whether there's an official update yet, that's the end of the video for you. You can go ahead and skip the rest of the video. So first thing first, in regards to the last week's cabinet update. So there was no official discussions regarding international students in that cabinet meeting. And that is why we didn't end up making a video on that. The only positive thing that came out of that meeting was that the international arrivals for Australians has been increased as from 15th of February. But as there was a quick snap lockdown in Melbourne from 13th of February, Victoria will not be taking any international arrivals until the lockdown is over. And the lockdown is only supposed to run for five days until 17th of February. And this lockdown has been implemented to contain the spread of UK strain of COVID-19 that started in holiday in hotel in Melbourne. So hopefully after these five days of quick lockdown, Melbourne will be able to go back to its COVID normal. Fingers crossed for that. And hopefully they will start receiving those stranded Australians back as per the normal agreement. But certainly there's a discussion going around how this quarantine system is not working and a lot of cities including Brisbane, Perth had to do a quick snap lockdown like this earlier. So there's a possibility that there might be a change in the quarantine system that Australia has at the moment. At the moment, the number of Australians stranded overseas is around 40,000. So this number hasn't moved much since the last time we had discussed because even though there are a lot of Australians who are coming back to Australia every week, there are more and more people who are now willing to come back to Australia. And one of the opposition leader actually blamed the government for not having a national quarantine plan where Australians can be quarantined in a national facility instead of putting a pressure on states and territories. She also added that if the government has implemented a national quarantine plan from the beginning of this pandemic, Australia would be in a position to safely welcome international students without their arrival coming at the expense of stranded Australians. So instead of relying on states and territories to do their own quarantine arrangements, there could have been a plan to quarantine all these stranded Australians in one facility or one national facility and the capacity could have been increased to make sure all these standard Australians can come back home quicker so then there could be a possibility of bringing international students back to Australia. But as this has not been implemented by the government, there's a consequences that international students won't be able to come back until all the Australians are back home. So we would also like to know about your opinion on this. Do you think the Australian government could have done this national quarantine plan to make sure that Australians can come back home quicker and safer? And then there could have been a better rollout plan to bring international students as well. So let us know about your thoughts in the comment section below. Australia is going to start its vaccination program for COVID-19 in March and government has rolled out a plan that will see most of the people with the priority need will get vaccinated first. That includes people working in high risk settings like in the aged care, disability, health professionals, people working in quarantine and border force and aged care residents and people with disability will be prioritized for this. And there's a plan to vaccinate the rest of the population by October 2021. But the priority will be given to the people who are more vulnerable. Now the good thing is that Australia will provide free vaccination to international students and some other visa holders as well. So we do hope that after the vaccination of all these vulnerable people, Australian government hopefully increase their capacity 
to bring Australians stranded overseas as quickly as possible so that they can start thinking about bringing international students within this year. And again, having no clear plan on when all these stranded Australians will be able to come back home and not giving a clear indication of when international students can arrive in Australia is frustrating and we do share your frustration in regards to this and this is what we and other people in the international education industry in australia are hoping that the australian government will be able to give some indication timeline so students can make their decisions based on that but as i told you earlier there is no specific timeline that has been given in regards to the opening of international borders in Australia and one of the comment by the chief medical officer that was really fueled around in the media was regarding the border closure till 2022 although the comment was specifically made for the overseas travel for Australians but he did mention that the quarantine arrangements for the international travelers coming to Australia will remain in place for some more time but he also mentioned that we will see how the things pan out after we start vaccinating our population here in Australia. But again, just to be clear, that was his prediction in regards to borders. It is not set in stone and there is no official update on that by the Australian government. So hopefully that clarifies the statement for you. On a side note, Australian government's Australia Award Scholarship is now open for the year 2022. So if you are planning to apply for that scholarship, please make sure to check the link in the description where we have created a comprehensive guide on everything you need to know about this scholarship, including the opening and closing date, participating country, selection process, and how you can apply for this scholarship. More details are there in the link in the description. Well, I hope you find some value in this video. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and share as always with your friends as well. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.